Justin had an awesome weekend. Now that it's Monday morning, he's taking the good vibes into the office and surprising his work pals with donuts. Problem is, tasty treats aren't the only thing he's about to share. <laughs> Justin doesn't know it, but he picked up a germ at a concert last week. Now he's sprinkled his donut box, his hands, and the office door with those germs. In real time, as Justin says good morning to John, and Ashley grabs her favorite Boston cream, those germs have hitched a ride onto two new hosts. With a rub of the eyes and a gulp, they're through the human front door and ready to get down to the business of making people sick. <laughs> a little later, George comes with the mail. Justin offers him a donut and with a tickle in his throat, turns his head to cough. <laughs> Justin says bye to George and leaves more germs behind. George starts making his deliveries and as you can see, there's no return to sender on Justin's leave behind. All it takes is a touch of the germy mail, and then a touch of the mouth, nose, or eyes for a person to become infected. When it's time to call it a day, Ashley brings the infection onto the train. She hasn't washed her hands in hours. The germs covering them make a pit stop on the grab bar before finding a home on some new hands. A few cars over, Justin is coughing again. In these tight quarters, that's bad news. He and his fellow passengers get off the train and head to their homes. The spread continues. But what if Justin's morning had gone more like this? A sneeze into the elbow. and then some hand sanitizer to be safe, a cough into a <coughs> tissue, and a good job throwing it away and washing hands. Coworkers don't touch their eyes, noses, or mouths, no matter what. By following those steps, Justin's germs could have stayed away and slowed the pace of the spread. <laughs> 